Hey there everybody, it's Forgot Guy here, and welcome back to Far Sky. Now, I haven't- whoa. I haven't played this in a long time. But, now that I'm back to, uh, making videos regularly again, I figured there was something I, uh, I never got a chance to try. So we're gonna make use of the submersible, and we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure here. Um... I have hopefully, since the last series, fixed the audio issues. There was basically no game audio when I did the original series of 10 episodes, I think. I believe I have addressed that problem. So, our objective for this uh, episode, because I'm probably not going to do any more episodes after this for a little while, if ever, uh, is to hunt and kill a whale. Now, in a more recent save that I have done, this is the old save from the series I did, but in a more recent series, I have discovered that it is possible. However, I'm pretty sure I only ever heard one whale in the entire game when we did the series, uh, I think it was over a year ago now, and I don't know where it was. I think it was near the base. However, because I can't remember, It'll be hard to find again, but I do know they can be killed. I even teased it in a previous video of mine that was a compilation of clips. I teased it in the newer save. I am dying. Good thing I can kind of remember how to play. It's probably overkill, but I'm hoping I don't need to use too much food. But I have a first order of business before the whale hunt begins, which involves descending. Which apparently involves running into that rock face. Which involves descending to the lower shelf. Now, I haven't... Um, I haven't been to the lower shelf in a while. Because even like earlier when I was testing the game and fixing the audio issue, I didn't even like drop to the middle shelf there. I just fucked around in the shallows. Ow, I'm doing well. My goal is to find a crystal just to make up the fact that uh, the music never played properly in the original series for Kraken Fight. So what I'm going to do is try to find a crystal, harvest it. That should make the music play. Hey look, a crystal. Hey look, too. <laughs> I'm going to park the sub in the open because I need to be able to get back to it. Still have the overpowered drill apparently. Where is this? Ah. Where's the other one? Right there. Okay. So we're going to grab this one first and then go to the other one because it's closer to the sub. And now we will enjoy the great music while we harvest things that we don't deserve nor need. Oh, there's like six of you. Okay, I don't have a choice but to stand and fight. Some jelly thing blocked the shot. Oh. Oh, uh, I got help, but it didn't count. Well then. I guess I'll have to go recover those. Sorry, I bumped my mic. That probably sounded... Whoa. Oh yeah, okay. Whatever. <laughs> So I have to go recover my shit now. Found it. We're just gonna hit take all and then we'll organize stuff. Because I'm sure you guys remember from the original series that I'm a bit of an organization freak.
So we'll go back over to the sub here. And then, hello, octopus thing. And then we will climb to the upper shelf. Not up to the shallows, but up to the upper shelf at least. Because I need some energy orbs to activate these two drones. Oh, it only costs like five. Well, that's much better than I was expecting. Cool, now we have two drones. But there's one more up on this upper shelf, so we're gonna go get it too. Then we'll have three drones. I don't want to use too many uh, Magni Stunning Spears because if memory serves, whales have quite a bit of health. I'm also gonna reference my map and see if I had the fourth drone's location on it anywhere. But I'm pretty sure there's only four drones. Although I don't actually know that for sure. Whoa. Really? Huh. I keep forgetting that... Whoa, hello there, Phil Shark. I keep forgetting that Crystal can spawn on the upper shelf. That almost looked like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> That's fucking scary. The knowing what I'm doing, I mean. Not the octopus themselves. Whatever the fuck the game actually calls them. They're, they're just the octopi. Whoa, that's a big anglerfish. And that's the blue drone. I don't actually know which one I'm missing. Nice to have that many drones around. So now the objective is to find a whale and kill it and then eat it. I just gotta make sure I don't go too high because if I go too high, the sub will auto surface and then the game will end. I'm just using the sub to get around faster. I do miss this old base. My new one is very different. We're on the surface, so I'll use my questionable spears for now. Now, uh, hey, I'm on a roof. What the fuck does that not count for? What the hell? Come on, game. Oh, that couldn't have been easier. Now, you can actually land on them. They're solid. But, our objective is homicide.
Apparently that whale did not drop any whale meat. It seems strange, considering I don't think I've ever had them not. Odd. Alright, this is actually proving relatively difficult compared to what I was expecting. Alright, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Once again, I didn't get anything out of that. Huh. It's this piece of barracuda from the barracuda I shot down. But nothing from the whale. Weird. I wonder why that's not working. Hold on a moment. I'm going to go inside the base, save and quit, and load my newer save. It's not done the game, but it still has basically the same hardware. No, not that. This is the one I want. My newest one. Yeah, because I'm holding whale meat in this sick. Because they go right over top of this building. Apparently standing up here no longer... Um, no longer recharges your... Standing on something. Or I just don't remember it not doing it before. Which is a distinct possibility, I guess. Okay. Basically, just gonna stand here until I hear a whale because they basically go right over top of the base. I fucking love the ocean. <laughs> I was just like standing here watching these. No. Watching these really questionably real looking manta rays. I'm just like, they're so goddamn majestic. The ocean's great. I quite enjoy the ocean. Which is funny, because I've never been to the ocean in real life. Although I hope someday I do get to go there. And see the ocean. And see below the ocean. Because the ocean is awesome. I wonder why that shark was drawing from so far away. Normally I see whales here all the time. Also, I've never had a whale not drop meat. So 
that's really fucking weird. I can't imagine they removed whale hunting. Considering I can't even remember the last time this game updated. At this point, I'm probably fast forwarding just to like not waste you guys' time. But, uh. Ooh. Come on, I heard that. I hear it. I hear, but where? Game does not appear to have 3D audio. <laughs> Way the fuck up there, okay. Gonna need all four, five of my jumps here. <laughs> you are high. Now you are die. That one dropped meat. Will this one? Uh oh. Hold the phone. So they're dropping meat on this save, but not the other save. Weird. Maybe on newer saves it doesn't work anymore. Ooh, it's dark. Again, still not... I think I said this before in the original series, but... I'm pretty sure that shouldn't be arcing like that out of the water. So yeah, it does a base of minus six... So it's actually worse than shark meat for base, but they are the same cooked. So, uh, yeah. Now I have one more thing to show you guys, but I'm going to do it on the other save because I need the manganese diving gear. And even then, it's not really going to work very well. First, I'm going to let this meat cook. Actually, there's not really any point to that. Apparently, I can't shift-click. We'll let two more of them cook. Okay. Alright, so we're going to save and quit. We're going to go back to the old save. this one we're gonna do something really really dumb so the first thing we're actually gonna do is go up here pick a empty one of these now then that should give me an empty inventory Perfect. I'm not going to make a knife. I was going to, but I don't actually need it. What I do need, though, is to go this way. Without any gear or anything. What we are doing is jumping off the lower shelf into the depths, which I technically never did because I kind of had assumed it was just death. But in one of my more recent saves, after sliding off of it by accident, I discovered it's actually slightly more survivable than I had originally thought. So we're heading out there. But we need the manganese diving gear because I can't make it without that. It's just 
the lower shelf is too far down. Surprisingly, the lower shelf has less, like, aggressive creatures than the upper shelf. For some reason, maybe that's just me, but, like, that's the worst enemy, really. Those blue fish things. Shit. I don't know what the fuck they're shooting at, but I want no part of it. This is the drop-off to the lower deaths. Why is that one a different color? Oh, okay. Here we go. We're gonna go slowly first until we get to the edge of our maximum depth, which should be this shelf right here. Ooh. Not what I wanted. Thank you, game. Can I have my jumps back, please? Oh, I have them back, okay. We'll wait for that crack to go away, just because I don't want to overdo the dip. Yeah, okay. So at 250 is actually too deep. So we'll jump from this shelf. We're going to jump way out into the deep. I'm using the depth gauge to time my jumps, if you're wondering. I want to know how far out you can get. Because there's actually a floor down here. It, it will kill you eventually, but... This is actually awesome. Your suit imploded due to pressure. I, I don't read you, I'm dead, sorry. <laughs> That's why I left everything though, because you don't lose like equipment you're wearing, but you do lose equipment you're holding, and down there it wouldn't be recoverable. Now, we made it a long way off the lower shelf, but I'm not convinced that you can go any further than that. However, if I'm capable, what does it take to make one of these scooter things? Underwater. Or what's it called? Uh, yeah, underwater scooter. Propels you. Copper and gold. I have copper. I don't remember what it said. I have gold. And we're going to waste some materials just to see how far out we can go. That is incorrect. All right. So this time, we're jumping off the shelf as far as we can go. And then we're gearing, or we're using this thing to get even further. All right, here we go. We're gonna land right next to the body. Yeah, we're gonna have much more time to explore down here if we're fast. Let's try to actually get up above 250 for a second. Aha.
Need more battery. All right, come on, battery. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to get up high enough to see if we could just keep it going, but. So, it would appear that it is impossible to get out that far. Not that I didn't expect that to be the case. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, what the fuck? We only have two drones here? Where's the third? Oh, there, wait. Ah, okay, they were inside each other. Okay, so we actually found the edge of the map. I didn't think there was an edge of the map, but that is an edge. There you go. So we now know the game is perfectly square. <laughs> and I literally went off in the longest possible direction. If I jumped from around here, I don't know if you guys can see my mouse actually now that I think of it, if I jumped from around here I actually would have hit the edge faster. But there is actually an edge. That begs the question, hold on a moment while I make another uh, sea scooter. I'm not gonna save at this point. I'm just gonna not save, but I, I shall just use the one I have already because I'm just not gonna save. But we're not gonna question this I want to jump from a shorter distance and see what happens if you get off the edge of the map. So we're going to go due south. We are going to follow the edge here just to make sure we are at the absolute southernmost point that we could be. Okay. I would call this the southernmost point. Wanna not do that, guy? Pretty sure there's three drones inside of each other right there. Killed that one. And that one, apparently. Hey, now, don't fall down just yet, you. Get up there, me. Yeah, okay, this is the southernmost tip of the map. So this is our jump point. Here we go. We are off the map right now. If you look on my mini-map up there, there is nothing. The drones can't follow us. Oh, they can teleport, apparently. So we are off the map. We are outside the map's boundaries. The question is, what awaits us below? Oh, there's actually terrain down here. Surprisingly. Come on. Come on, glass heel. Yeah.
I think we are as far off as we can get now. Well, there you go. Welcome to super outside far sky. <laughs> Farther than I thought you could go. Let's see just how far that was, though. If it's even visible on the map. Oh my god. Yeah. We were way off the map. Alright, so I have... Sort of an idea. But it requires me to look into something. So before I do any more first guy... I will have to do a little bit of research. However, I may be back with more Far Sky for you guys. So, uh, be ready for that. And, uh, for now, that's really all I've got for you guys. So until next time, I will see all of you in the future.